today's video is a bit more conversational and more lighthearted. Instead of doing unboxing, as always, I'm going to take a fresh approach to share my perspective of collecting and also working on some customs which I'll share on this channel. Just like many collectors, I started with collecting Hot Wheels and I started to collect Tomica in 2012 during my first visit to Japan. I went with the mindset of looking for Hot Wheels like some Japan exclusive, but I can't find any. Hot Wheels are pretty rare. Back in those years, unlike now, there are many, they are everywhere. And since then, I've been collecting Tomica, which becomes the bulk of my collection. Unlike Hot Wheels or many other brands, Tomica are easily accessible because I'm located in Asia. I know that's a different take for collectors who are located in other regions. They are easily available at retail and the hobby shop will bring them direct in from Japan or Hong Kong at a very reasonable price point. To be honest, collecting Tomica is stress-free and it's a joy. And of course, being a serious collector for Tomica, I try to pursue the retired models and I make annual trips to Japan to look for these models, browsing through hobby shops, which the price are skyrocketing through the years, especially in Tokyo and hunting for diecasts in events such as Wonderland. I pull up a few of the Tomica assortment for discussion, and that's include Tomica Limited and Tomica Premium. One thing I like about Tomica is the diversity and the assortment. Many are Japanese exclusive, which we are able to obtain in our area. The most common are the Red Box series, the main line. These are classified into regular and first color release, with the first color release in bracket, I know this is not a good example, but in domestic Japan, you can also find blister pack as well. One thing I like to highlight about the red box, it never show the actual casting on the package. If you have purchased Tomica in departmental stores in Asia, of course you see what you are getting. The display rack will have the actual casting, followed by the box, but still I like to see the actual casting on the package. Instead of nice illustration like this, which the wheels doesn't tally, and even the side mirror is not included in most cases. The blister pack on the other hand have more clarity, you know what you are getting. Blister pack are mostly targeted at kids rather than collectors. And first color is not available on the blister pack. Next I like to discuss is the wheel sets. 98% of the Tomica only have two choice of wheels, the button wheel sets and the racing wheels. Many collectors, especially new ones, are tired of the wheels. The thing about Tomica, they are defiant. Despite all the feedbacks, Takara Tommy will never change the wheels. Not now, not in the near future. And being a seasoned collector for Tomica, we have been accustomed to the wheel sets. And to be honest, we have embraced them. It has become part of the brand. Thousands of collectors in Japan and around the world for serious Tomica collectors has seen the wheel sets as part of the offering. Personally, I feel more wheel sets and more variants will be great as I collect Hot Wheels as well. And Hot Wheels has several offerings on their plastic wheels. The Made in Japan Tomica is also one of the hunting lists for serious collectors. Showcase here are the Tomica F-Series. Just like the present days, the assortments are endless. And a full-time Tomica collector may spend more money than collectors who collect assorted brand just by trying to chase down these retired models. Dream Tomica is another offering in the Tomica series. They are almost the same quality as the Red Box. The price point is about double of the Red Box. I guess most of the bulk gone to the license, such as this Fast and Furious Supra. They have better finishes as well, but overall you can't really distinguish them from the Red Box. Another cons about Tomica is the chrome loss on the wheels. Chrome loss is something I cannot define as per why. Is it humidity? Is it due to carelessness? As a collector, of course, I treat all the Tomica like my baby. And chrome loss like this are really disheartening in my collection. The good news is chrome loss doesn't happen for every Tomica. Maybe about 3% of my Tomica have chrome loss. I just leave them as the way it is although you can touch up with chrome markers. Next are paint rashes, such as the one you can see on the Tomica Limited. It happens mostly for the made in China model. Of course, certain made in Vietnam model has as well. The occurrence is not as much as the TLV because the paint are thick. 
and the TLV paint are very thin. Paint rash are very prone to humid area, especially in Southeast Asia, which I'm located. Hence, about two years ago, I keep all my Tomica in the tea bags, or if you don't have a tea bag, you can wrap with tissue. The premium was introduced about six years ago by Takara Tommy. It has been a very good call because it addresses the wheels problem. They roll out a lot of variety of realistic wheel sets in plastic to show Takara Tommy capability of doing realistic wheel sets other than just the generic button wheels. Pain rash can also be found in the Made in Vietnam version such as this Tomica Premium NSX. That sums up the pros and cons of collecting Tomica. Let me know if you'd like to see such videos again. Regardless, you are new or seasoned Tomica collectors. You can leave your afterthoughts or comment in the comment section. Stay tuned for more upcoming Tomica. And remember to head on to my second channel, Hot Customs Unboxing, for more contents. You can refer to the link down below in my comment section, including my bio. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks everyone. Bye.